Welcome back to another Ash Design training video. Today I am so excited to show you our brand new Amped Effects templates. These are a great way just to take your beautiful images and just add some effects to them that are really going to create some wow. Today I'm going to show you our Attitude template and this template is perfect for seniors or for sports photography um, and you would just really be creative with it. It's, it's so much different than the traditional templates and it's just a way to really add some jazz to your images. So let me show you what we're working with. Uh, right here in the screen I have open in Photoshop what the attitude template looks like when you get it when you start. And so you can see it's got really cool background, it's got some lightning going on and some smoke and not a whole lot else. I mean there's not a place like our traditional templates just to stick an image in. But once we put the image in, this is what it looks like. And I'm just amped about showing you what you can do with some of these templates because this is just going to be a really cool new line for us. And it takes a couple extra steps from some of our traditional templates. So let's dive in and let me show you how we can create something just like this. So we're going to start with our image and this is pretty easy to do uh, with colored image with black and white it's going to be a little more, bit more difficult and I just wanted to show you kind of worst case scenario this is how hard it, it would be to, to create one of these templates. So I have this cool black and white image here and we're going to put it into our amped template and the very first thing we need to do is create a mask and to do that we need to select the areas of the image that we want to keep. So in this case we want to keep this guy and we want to keep his guitar and we want to get rid of all of our background. So to do this we're going to use the quick selection tool. Now in Photoshop the quick selection tool oftentimes hides right between right behind this magic wand tool. So if you can't find the quick selection tool find the magic wand tool hold down on it and choose the quick selection tool and you can see it looks just like that. Now the next step is to bring your quick selection tool over to the areas that you want to keep and you can use your right and left brackets to make it bigger and smaller. And I'll make mine nice and big here for a second so you can see that it has a plus in it. When it has a plus in it, that means that I'm adding area to my selection. Up here in this corner up here, I can also choose the minus and this would mean I'm taking away from my selection. And we'll use both of those to select the pieces that we want. So here's how the selection tool works. I'm just going to click and drag to get the areas that I want. And you can just do like a single click to get an area or you can drag to cover a larger area. And it goes pretty quickly. Once you've used the quick selection tool to select the parts of the image that you want to keep and you're pretty happy with how that looks, you can look at the top of your Photoshop and find this button called Refine Edge. Now if you use Photoshop Elements or an old version of Photoshop, anything less than CS5, you're not going to have this Refine Edge button and that's okay, you'll just move to the next step. But if you have the Refine Edge button, it really helps to help you clean up your edges pretty quickly. So you just click that and it, it cuts out the background of your image and it brings it up with all of these different sliders and you can adjust your edge right here with these different sliders to kind of make it a more smooth and clean line. So just play with these sliders to get something that you're really pretty happy with. And once you're happy with how your lines look, if you're doing a sports team or something that you're going to do similar images over and over, just click this Remember Settings button and then click OK. And then the next time you come in and, and hit the Refine Edge button, it's going to preset all those for you. So you should be quite a bit closer and don't have to fiddle around as much. I also suggest once you're to this point you can't really zoom in on the image unless you cancel it and then zoom in and go back to refine edge. So you might want to zoom in on your image and then do the refine edge and I usually zoom in on an area that's pretty important like around the face or something like that to really help you get that edge and then okay and you'll kind of want to look the whole thing over and then you can always come back in to refine edge and adjust some more. Okay, once I've done the Refine Edge, the next part we're going to do is create our mask. So the very first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and duplicate this layer. So I've got two of them. And then on my top layer, which is now the copy, uh, what I'm going to do is come down here to the bottom of my layers palette and I'm going to find this button. It's a square with a circle inside and it said it's Add Layer Mask. And I'm just going to click on Add Layer Mask. And you can see up here in my layers palette, it's added this layer mask right here. And if I 
hide the layer underneath, you can see that it's essentially cut out the entire selection that, that we did with the quick selection tool. So now I'm going to go back to the layer that we added and I'm going to show that one and I'm just going to um, lower the opacity of that down to like 60% so you can kind of see it in the background. Now the other thing I'm going to do at this point is add a new layer and at the bottom of your layers palette this, there's this little square with the corner turned up and if you just click on that it's going to add a new layer and then if you just make sure you have white and get your paint bucket and you can just paint that white and I'm just going to make sure that my white layer is on the bottom. So I've got my white layer and then I've got my layer that's set at 60% opacity so I can see it a little bit in the background and then I've got the layer that I'm going to work on and this is the layer that has the mask on it. And when you're on this layer you can click on the mask itself or on the image and we want to make sure that we're clicked on the mask so that's an important step that you'll want to make sure that you are on the layer mask. And we have that here. So the next step is to go and get a brush. So I'm just going to choose a brush from my, my tool palette here and I'm just going to go with some kind of uh, medium level brush and you can adjust the size and the hardness to your preference. And so I just use my bracket keys to make the brush larger and smaller so you can use the right to make it bigger and the left to make it smaller. And we're just going to zoom in on some areas so that we can clean this up a little bit. So I'm just going to get my magnifying glass and we'll zoom in over here on this guitar and do a little bit of work in this area. So from here you can choose black or white. You're going to use white if you want to add to the image and you're going to choose black if you want to take it away. So I have my black and I have my brush and there's a little edge right here that I want to get rid of. I don't want that in my image so I can just paint right on that edge and it's going to take it out. Now the steadier hand you have the better for this spot. Okay and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more and I'm going to switch to my white and get my brush and size it for this little piece right here and same type of thing. and you just fill in the pieces that you want to keep. Now I'm going to do this kind of quick here so you get a good idea and you can just switch between your black and your white and add and delete all of the different pieces that you want. And you can make your brush bigger and smaller and you can get some soft edges in there um, or if you want to get real detailed you can make it a little bit harder edge and you're just going to go through and clean up the lines all around your image. Now once you're pretty happy with how your cutout looks and all of your edges, you're ready to pull it over into the template. And so I'm just going to turn off this layer underneath so I just have my mask layer and my white layer and I can just verify that everything looks pretty neat. Uh, and then I'm going to just make sure I have that layer highlighted, uh, make sure I have my selection tool here and I'm just going to drag it over into my template. And then when I bring it in here, the only thing I really need to pay attention to is that my, my template, my image is between the background and the foreground. And as long as it's in there, that's just perfect. And you can move it around and you can change the size if you need to. Um, control T to change the size, bigger or smaller. And then once you have it placed where you want, you can also move the clouds that are both in the background and in the foreground to create a customized effect uh, depending on areas that you might want to hide or showcase or uh, just some kind of effect that you're going for you know you could you can make these up higher or you can bunch them up down lower and it really just can be a lot of fun and just add a lot of pizzazz and again I just love this attitude template it's perfect for seniors and sports uh, but we also have our amped effects templates in a wide range of designs uh, to fit all of your images. So make sure you check it out. It's really very cool. Now each of our amped effects also comes with customized brushes so that you can go back in and you can add in this case some of that smoke um, or clouds to this template. And so in just a minute I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and do that as well.